It has been quite the week, and after all of the talking, finally some justice ditched out to the banks. Resign, the Treasurer's message as the Commonwealth Bank gets a billion dollar blast for bad behaviour. A billion dollars, yes, that'll teach those greedy bastards. The bank has been ordered to put aside one billion dollars to cover potential fallout from its failings. Well, well, put aside? So it's not a fine, the bank has to put a billion dollars in the bank. <laughs> it's like they're being punished by their dad. Look, son, I caught you banking. And uh, I'm not going to tell your mum, but you're going to have to bank the whole lot, OK? <laughs> and you're just going to have to keep banking until you learn your lesson. <laughs> so what did the head of the Commonwealth Bank have to say about it? Matt Common has announced he's giving up a $2.2 million bonus. While the CEO's salary is more than $8 million, although today he pledged to forgo $2 million of that. Yeah, so he forgoes the $2 million the bank was going to pay him, so that just stays with the bank. <laughs> Jeez, the banks are making money out of this Royal Commission. <laughs> very good, they're very good. It was a big week also for Cardinal George Pell, or as he's known on the streets, Cardi P. There was intense media interest in today's proceedings, not just from Australian media, but from international media as well. An Australian court has told one of the most senior figures in the Roman Catholic Church, Cardinal George Pell, he will stand trial. A court in Australia orders Cardinal George Pell to stand trial on charges of sexual abuse. Now, guilty or not, it's just great to see an Aussie doing so well on the world stage. <laughs> And uh, I have to say that if found guilty, Pell might have to give up his bonus uh, going to heaven. Uh, but that wasn't the only action in the magistrate's court yesterday. Former AFL great Mark Bomber Thompson was freed on bail over serious drugs charges. Here he was facing the media last night. Take a look. Do you have anything to say about the charges? Oh, it's a big day and hopefully we get a chance to fight them. Yeah, you know, it's a big day. Look, to be honest, we're just taking it one charge at a time. I mean, uh, <laughs> full credit to the boys in blue. They've done a great job, but uh, the key's going to be a strong defence and uh, I'm going to give it 110 grams. Percent. <laughs> percent. I said percent. Uh, good news also this week for the ladies. Labor is promising to abolish the standard 10% GST on sanitary products if it wins the next election. I think it's unfair because it's a necessary product. Luxury items, it makes sense. But I've never gone, geez, I'd love to buy some tampons to treat myself this pay week. Yeah, you know, you know, I did once. Worst bubble bath ever. <laughs> and historic news from Korea with the murderous warlord turned what is he hiding nice guy, Kim Jong-un, holding peace talks with South Korean President Moon Jae-in. And as you'd expect, it had everything a good peace talk should have. They did the romantic hand-holding gravel walk, <laughs> the traditional running of the sedans. <laughs> before attempting full reunification by touching, yeah, by touching their demilitarised zones. <laughs> and it just goes to show the great things that can happen when leaders stay humble and put their egos to one side. Now they were saying, what do you think uh, President Trump had to do with it? I'll tell you what, like how about everything? <laughs> oh, look at him just grabbing that piece by the humility. <laughs> 